Hey guys, it's Shapiro, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be looking at something which um, I found out quite a while ago, but I forgot. I found out about quite a while ago, but I forgot about it um, until recently, and I thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, basically, what it is is um, sort of a virtual machine, sort of a um, I guess that's the same thing, a portable OS. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what it is. Just, um, if I head over to g.ho.st, this is actually a website. Now, um, this website allows us to log into the uh, virtual machine. If I go ahead and enter my information in here quickly, if I log in now, we can. Uh, we'll get a chance to look at this ghost thing. Um, I hope my thing still follows me around. Yeah, it does. So you can see, this is, um, what this is at the moment is actually, uh, it's a Flash app. I, th I think it's a Flash app. It looks like it's a Flash app, because when I right-click, it allows me to, you know, look up stuff about, uh, Adobe Flash Player. So, I'm guessing it's, um, something to do with Flash. But it's pretty much a full-blown OS. Um, I think you get about 10 gigs of space to start off with. They give you the chance to get 5 gigs every time you invite someone. Um, and this just has a ton of cool apps, like it's got um, Zoho Writer, uh, which is like a sort of Microsoft Word clone. a while though actually it's kind of laggy because uh well it's fairly uh fast for the fact that it's a flash app i mean you've got to give it some credit there running a whole freaking os in flash not easy you know but uh i'm gonna close that because it seems to be lagging out but you get the idea <laughs> um it's probably because i'm running caps geo so don't worry about that now i think the most useful thing about this has got to be the I love I am type thing. Um, now what this is, is it allows you instant access to um, to pretty much, well not every instant messenger, but a ton of instant messages. You can see here it's automatically logged me into Windows Live because I set it to do that. But if I sign out you can see we get MSN, Yahoo, AIM, or AIM, whatever, and Google. So a whole bunch of them, and now the the thing here about this is that you know when you're at school or at work or something, there's you can't install applications basically. So you can install MSN, you can't install Yahoo, and possibly even for MSN something like that, um, the the MSN website where you can you know you can get the web browser version of MSN that might be blocked by some kind of um, uh, you know, uh, the word's completely gone out of my mind, but I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm talking about, you know, where a website's blocked, um, on us, on, uh, at school or work. Um, well, all you need to do is go to g.ho.st, uh, create an account, log in, and you have instant access to all these instant messages, okay, so really quite useful. Now, um, if you if you're running out of space on your computer, if you just need a place to store like text files even or some you know video files, uh, you won't be able to get many video files on because you don't have uh, an immense amount of space. But it's it almost acts like a flash drive, and you can access it anywhere so long as you have an internet connection. And um, you do need flash, of course, because it's. Well, I'm pretty sure you'd flash because it's. I'm pretty sure it's a flash app. But yeah, um, and there is a browser, but I don't think it goes anywhere but the Ghost website. Um, because when I tried to go to Google, oh, it works on Google. When I, I tried to go to Google Docs and it wouldn't work for some reason. But um, you can kind of go around. Oh, okay, so you can go to a ton of places. Uh, so, I guess this is also, this might work to get you around, um, uh, 
uh, something that would normally block you when you tried to go to a certain website or something. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say, um, get, well, show you guys this thing, which is Ghost. That's g.ho.st. That's the website. That's actually, it, the website is actually g.ho.st. I don't know what, uh, extension st is. I won't be able to, uh, official st domain registration. There we go. But anyway, I won't get into that now. But, um, yeah, it's g.ho.st, okay? It's basically Ghost, you can see there, but with, um, just a couple of dots in between. So, there you go, that's the Ghost OS, really cool, um, and Web 2.0, uh, appropriate, uh, thing, is the only word I can come up with, I'm afraid. But anyways, over and out for now, guys.